Okay, hey guys, my name is Perry Cole and welcome back to a brand new video. And this is going to be a little bit of a different video because I am actually going to review the new Steam UI. So there has been a lot, and I mean really a lot of discussions in the forums of the Steam discussions. And I can show you that and I started my own thread, it's not like ranting or anything. Um, but if we go here, um, we can see, you know, not my library, new UI lag, and you know, this. <laughs> it is kind of weird how many people are complaining about that. I mean, it's understandable, it's something new, um, but at the same time, you know, you just kind of see, okay, people are complaining about this. Okay, I want to give my own personal feedback, though. I want to show people, okay, look, there is this and that, here, um, here we have this and this, and I just want to review quickly how the new Steam UI is better slash worse than the old one. So the first one I can already show you which I like is that we can really just sort by stuff like you know controller and we can sort by genre, we can sort by things like ready to play, installed locally, we can sort by single player, multiplayer, like if I just go like that we have we have you know just the assortment of play uh, games that are actually multiplayer which you could then as example say well which, could, which, which one could I play with my friends and yeah, it's kind of nice. Or, you know, cooperative. I mean, that's also a favorite genre of mine because I like to play with multiple people. Well, I do like the sorting system. I do like how clean this looks. Um, what I would love, though, is if all the download uh, needed games, you know, the updates, would be kind of put up here or, you know, in a general own section because that would honestly help to see which games now really need an update because I feel like I, with my uh, 45 installed games, you know, I don't have it as bad as some people that have over 300 or 400 games installed. And I feel like something like this would actually help, especially keeping your Steam library a bit more up to date and just seeing like, oh, you know, one of my favorite games got an update that I've been waiting for. It's great to see that it finally got one. Okay, moving on to the next one. Uh, so... One thing I have to criticize is that the Steam UI over here, you know, specifically the game window, is in many cases exceptionally bright. Like, okay, well, something where it's like Star Conflict, it's not. But something like Stardew Valley, um, Risk of Rain, maybe like Teroya also has that. Okay, actually, it's not as bad here. But this is specifically where I have to say um, we really need the dimming option. I wouldn't say it's bad that we have some bright colors or that we have a re really colorful um, representation of the game. Um, but especially during the night times and with my own eyes, because I'm having easily strained eyes, it can hurt after a while. I mean, I know I'm not supposed to look on the Steam UI pretty much all day, but at the same time, I also have to say, I don't exactly want to have to look at this and then be like, okay, that hurts my eyes. Next one is going to be the general assortment. So there's already one ways to potential. So as example, you see the buttons here. And when I clicked on that, I was kind of like, what if we had something like, you know, a window that would open up down here and, you know, we could see like, okay, there, this is the discussions going on. So you don't have to exactly move away from the library, but, you know, you don't exactly have to be redirected um, either in order to access that. So if I click on discussions, as example, you know, I'm going to be redirected to the um, Risk of Rain um, discussions. Okay, now another thing I would like to point out is that I would love to customize my UI. As example, I can scroll down really far and I see news, I can see um, things that... Those are informations that I don't need. And yeah, I, I just would generally like to be able to customize my UI by removing elements or by moving elements around like that I have screenshots up here, that I have friends down here. That would be kind of nice. That would actually really help because I think what this would give us is a more dynamic opportunity to make our game experience more, I guess, great. If t if putting it like this is actually even a good idea, but generally I would love to be able to customize my UI. I also don't like it that we have something like activity or, you know, I just don't think that's needed. Like, why does someone need to know what I do in a specific game? Okay, I don't know what this does. Okay, that okay that actually brings up a review window. That, that, that's what I like, actually. I haven't seen that yet, and I do like that. 
I actually like that a lot, and I would love to see this with something like Discussions as well. That would actually be really nice. So I, I do like the review fact of this. And of course, now the thing is gone. If I Can I bring it back if I... I don't. Okay, so basically probably the review was already posted, I guess. Maybe? Let me see. Can I see reviews somewhere? I don't think so. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I can see that later. Anyway, last thing that I want to point out is it uses a lot of um, resources. I mean, previously, uh, earlier when I tried to check this, it used like about 12% uh, CPU. Right now, it's not using as much, but, you know, changing something to a game, it actually goes to a ridiculous amount. You know, it also uses... Let me see, what's the memory? It's not as bad, but it's definitely higher than the previous one. The same goes for you, uh, for the CPU. Previously, it was on 12% when I uh, started the Steam client. It stood there for, like, I guess, 5 to 6 minutes. I mean, it's not bad, but, you know, optimization is really important, especially in game launchers, because this is what you need. This is what we require. Well, I think this is kind of everything, except for, you know, that... One thing that doesn't affect me, but that affects others, is that um, your own games and uh, Steam shared games are, in, or you know, uh, Steam library shared games are shown in the same tab. You know, categorizing them between both would be better. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. I hope you uh, can agree with me, disagree. I would like to know your own personal feedback about this. And yeah, I will see you guys again in the next video. It's probably going to be another uh, Enigma Zilla War video. So yeah, see you soon.